Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Clinker2. In today's video I'm going to be going over the middle evolutions of the starters in Pokemon gens 1 through 8 and I'm just going to go over what I'm going to be mostly talking about here is going to be just the designs what I like of the Pokemon and then ranking them from there. There's really not a whole lot of competitive stuff with these middle evolutions. Um, I mainly play OU, you know, Ubers. I don't really know a whole lot about these competitively. And really, I don't think a lot of people play with these Pokemon competitively. So there's really not a whole lot to talk about there. Now, like I said, I'm just going to be going over maybe some nostalgia plays into this. We'll see. But overall, it's just going to be my opinions on the designs and just what I like about the Pokemon. And uh, another forewarning, some of the later gens, I may not know the names off the top of my head. Um, for instance, pretty much everything after 5th gen and up, I don't really know the names at the top of my head. I've seen all these Pokemon, I just don't know their names that well. A lot of these Pokemon you really just don't see after they, you know, evolve into their final form. They're kind of just like, you, they're like stepping stones, kind of. I'm not trying to be mean to them, but you just don't really see them that much after you, uh, you know, evolve them. You just don't really see them going, ah, oh, I want like Dartrix real quick. Like, no, like no one... No one really does it. Like, I want, you know, I want the bigger version. But, anyway, let's get started. So, we got War Turtle up front. And, I think, again, I like Squirtle. I think War Turtle's cool. I don't think he's as cool as Squirtle. And even as cool as Blastoise. That's kind of, like, an issue with most of these Pokemon. Is they're not really, like... A lot of them are kind of the awkward stage. They're kind of like the teenager stage, and they're kind of just—I don't know—they're kind of like they're kind of like awkward. And most of them, to me, just don't really hit home super well. I'm be completely honest. I'll put War toward Nah, I, don't, I think he's an A tier. I—I uh, I don't know. I'm probably gonna put him at B just because I don't really know what the tail means a lot here. Maybe it's just like a—it kind of. I don't know what the ears, the ears and the tail match up. I don't really know why they're there though. Maybe it's to give it like an extra flourish because it'd just be like is an angry squirtle right now, and that's why it needs something to back it up for it to be war turtle. But I don't know. It, it's all right. I just you know I like his design. It's not like horrible. And now we got Ivysaur. Ivysaur, you know, it goes from Bulbasaur, Ivysaur. It, you know, it's it's pod in the back. It's flowers like kind of sprouting. I think that progression alone is pretty cool. Honestly, I really like that progression where it, it it feels like it's evolving, you know. This doesn't really feel like it's evolving in my opinion. It just kind of feels like I got added on some stuff voodoo. But this really feels like it took the first stage, it evolved into the second stage, being that the flower on its back started to sprout. Ivysaur looks like a more grown version of Bulbasaur, and I think that overall sells this evolution, evolution stage. Um, Charmeleon, I don't really know if it really does anything. I, like I said, it's, it definitely makes him look more older. I think I'm going to put him in B tier. I could put him in A tier. I don't really think he's like, he's, I don't know. Because he, he's kind of evolving more to the dragon aspect. Once you kind of see Charizard, you know, this is actually the, if you look on Charizard's head, this little horn here, he Charizard has two similar horns to that. So he is evolving directly into what Charizard would be. I think for that, I'm going to put him here in A. And I think the more I'm doing this, I'm more realizing that I like the design aspect more of encompassing the whole three evolutions. And it's kind of like seeing where the middle stage kind of plays a part into that. And that's kind of... Most of these I don't have a whole lot of nostalgia for. Some of them I may do, but I do like the design aspect on these. That's mainly what I'm going to be judging them by in my book. Um, bay leaf. So if we're talking about Chikorita and the bay leaf, the Beganium, I think this is a step up from Chikorita. It definitely has like a longer neck. You know, its its leaf is unique now because as it cut in it, it's starting to get the the chest buds, seed buds, I don't really know what you would call them, and then Meganium kind of expounds on that, which is, it's pretty cool, um, I personally just don't like this line though, 
I, I think the design aspect is cool. I just think, again, this whole line is kind of like lackluster to me. I, I don't know. I, it's still D. Uh, I think it's still D. I, I just really eh, could go C for the design, but I, I don't really, really like Bayleaf that much or this whole line. Quill Lava is when... Okay, so I like Cyndaquil. I think Cyndaquil's design is cool. Quill Lava and Typhlosion... I'm just, you know, spoiler alert for the next video. Typhlosion and Ty, you know Quill Lava, to me, they, they don't really look super cool because they're just basically just extra fire. And, I don't know, it doesn't really... It, I don't know. It's not super cool to me probably D tier. This would be a much higher D tier than this one. I really don't care a whole lot for Quill Lava. Is there... Nah, I think there's worse ones down the line. I'm gonna I'm a keep... I might adjust some stuff later, but I think Quill Lava is definitely a D tier for now. Croconaw is where I start getting out of that, you know, starter phase of being cute to be more aggressive and that's where we're kind of transferring into that more aggressive phase here with these middle evolutions for that Kronkona actually very looks very cool and I don't I kind of feel like this might be like first S tier I don't want to be like bullish on this We'll, we'll leave him at high A tier. High A tier for Kronkana. I really like how he kind of goes from the Totodile into that, and then for Alligator is really cool in the end, too. So Kronkana's design is pretty cool. I do like how it kind of transitions from this kind of cuter Crocodile to more of an aggressive-looking Crocodile. Grovile, S tier. I like Grovile. Super just... It... It really fits the billet. I think this whole line is just very good in design wise. Trico. Trico's pretty cool. I did put him a little bit lower, but I also think Trico's just cool. I like Grovile. And uh, yeah, I think for middle evolutions, Grovile is super good. And if I'm be honest, most of the these lines are. I like Combuskin as well. Combuskin does a really good job at Basically taking what I think is more of a basic design being Torchic and then making it into more of a fighting chicken, which Blaziken then turns into the full fighting chicken. I think that's a really cool like transformation from basically a cuter version to a very not so cute version, a more aggressive version. Into basically Blaziken, which is by the time you get to third evolutions, I feel like they should be at least representing of some form of like a aggressive type feel to them not super aggressive they have to be friendly and stuff like that because they're pokemon but definitely more like they can take some hits deal some hits and stuff like that and i think combuskin is a very good like transition to that now this is a uh, marsh stomp marsh stomp is a good transition to did i say that wrong no, it was Mudkip, Marshchomp, Swampert. Yeah, I did say that right. So we got Marshchomp here. Yeah, I don't really feel him as well as Grovile and Combustion, to be honest. But I, I don't think he's on the world to world basis. And he'd probably be like high B, high B. I'd say high B. I don't really, I don't know, it doesn't really hit home with me super well. It's, it's really cheery. I don't know, there's not like a whole lot of design going on here in my opinion that I think is, I think Mudkip honestly has more of a unique design than like Marshchomp. It's just my opinion. So, yeah, I, I'm going to leave him at B. I think he's a B tier for me as far as what I like to see in there. Alright, we got Grottle. Grottle is supposed to be, Torterra is supposed to be this turtle that carries a continent on its back. And then Turtwig's the first form. Grottle's the mid form, and he's starting to have bushes on his back. He's, he's hitting home with the actual points here. Now, as far as design wise, I never really cared for Grottle a whole lot. It kind of just is boring to me. Put this one at C tier, and I also I like Turtwig. I like 
Torterra. I just don't really care for Grottle. He's kind of just eh. Eh. Monferno's cool. Like I said, he's supposed to be like a... Monferno... Infernape's supposed to be a... What's that? It's like a... Like a gesture monkey, I think is what it is. And... I don't know, he could be S tier. I'm gonna leave an A for now. I like Monferno. He's pretty cool. Definitely looks like someone you would want on your team, like a friend. He looks like a definitely a cool transition from Chemchar to basically Infernape later. I think he's a cool transitional Pokemon to that. Yeah, I like Monferno's design. Uh Printplup, I don't like. Printplup, no, Printplup. No, uh, oh, I couldn't, ooh, E, would it be the first E, ooh, I don't know, man, Primplip, I, I don't know, Empoleon's cool, Piplip's alright, yeah, I don't like Primplip, Primplip is just not hitting home for me, I, I just think it's kind of just, you know, it's hit, you know, the little, like, things up at the top are trying to, you know, hint for the trident, that's on Empoleon's head, but Empoleon has a lot more... Nah, I'm, I'm not going to talk about that because that's a different video. But Printflip, as for now, is going to stay in D tier. Cause I just don't think it's a cool Pokemon. I don't really think there's a whole lot going for it that would make me want to like catch it or anything like that. I'm putting that one in D tier. Nah, to be honest, I'm going to put this in E tier. I would rather have definitely Quilava... Honestly, I'd probably have Meganium over Pernplup. Design-wise, yeah. Alright, so now we're getting to names I might mess up here. I'm sorry. I might just say the evolution of and just call it good at that. But I'm pretty sure this is Servine. And Servine's pretty cool. I don't really... It's definitely the evolution from Snivy. You can definitely tell it's like an evolution from Snivy, but I don't think it adds a lot to Snivy's design. I really don't even know what Superior is supposed to be. It's supposed to be like a snake, I guess, but I don't know. We'll leave that for another video. So, Servine is okay, design-wise, in my opinion. It's not like... Nah, I'm putting it... Uh, no, I don't know. Nah, it's failed. In the, I went really far. <laughs> the only reason why I say it is because I just don't know what this... Really, the overall line supposed to be. I like Snivy because I just like how he looks. Servine gets to the point where I don't know what this is. And it's supposed to be a snake, but now it has legs. It's kind of it has hands. It, it's a grass on its back. It has like a like a flange flail here. I don't know what this is. So I'm gonna put this in E. Because I I don't Printplup is definitely a better design because it's obviously a penguin. I just don't like it. And Servine, I don't really understand what it is supposed to be fully besides a snake. And I'm going to put it at E. Uh, we got to Pig's evolution. I think it's Embor. But I think Embor is maybe the final evolution. I might be mistaken. It might be Pig Knight. I don't know for sure. But we got the evolution of to Pig. And this is easily either D or E. It's a, this just goes in the category of I don't like the design. It's not a cool design to me. It's supposed to be a wrestler, and I understand that, but it just, it almost comes off as almost like a Greek god, kind of, with like the little doohickey things here. That reminds me more of like a Greek god than like an actual, like, wrestler you know if you, your opinions differ let me know in the comments because this is going to be my tier list pig knight is going to go down here at e and if i'm pronouncing that differently than what's supposed to be i'm sorry and then i'm i'm pretty sure this is duot 90 percent sure now duot or samurai supposed to be a samurai pokemon and i actually think the shells here definitely you can kind of tell it's supposed to be like a like a samurai in training or martial arts at the very least. And I think it's pose gives that very much a meaning of that. 
Trump is in D tier? Because I still don't really like the design. I just... I understand what it is. I don't like the design, though. Um, I, I just don't. Gen 5 kind of struck out here, I'm not going to lie. For just sheer design, I actually do like Servine the, probably the most. I just don't know what it is. But yeah, I maybe... I don't think you go much higher than D, to be honest. Because I don't even think it's on par with Grottle. Now, I think this is Chespin, if I'm not mistaken. And Chespin... No, it's, I don't think it's Chespin. I think Chespin's the base evolution form, right? Anyway, this Pokemon... It's just another, like, it just feels like the, the first evolution, where it's just like, a, it's a little like in a costume. And I don't really like that. It just doesn't feel... It has more of a transitional feel to a bigger, better thing. But it still feels like it's in a costume, though. Who do that? No, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't put it on the tier of Cool Lava. That didn't soul Cool Lava. I couldn't do it, man. Damn, that thing's an E tier, too. Man. I, like I said, I just don't like a lot of these. I'm not trying to be mean. I just don't like a lot of them. So we got, I think this is Braxton. And Braxton starts to, you know, it starts climbing back up the ranks here. Braxton, just on the look of it, you can tell it's a cool Pokemon. And it's supposed to transfer into like a psychic fox in the wood thing, and its tail actually is pretty cool. Because that's what a Del Fox, I think, waves around, is the wood thing in its tail. And, um. Maybe. Maybe a high B tier. I'm not super in love with this design, but I do think it's cool. Like, I wouldn't mind picking it up. Like, I wouldn't mind picking up World Turtle or Marsh Tomp. But these ones I would, like, pick up over that. Most likely. Okay, so now we got Froggity Air. If I'm not mistaken, that's what it's called. And... I think this one's a really cool design. It's taking the scarf around Froakie's neck and making it more of a scarf. You don't really know what it looks like yet, but you can kind of tell it's more of like a sleek design, so you can tell it's supposed to be a, like a sleeker Pokemon that it evolves into, being Greninja. And, uh... I think Froggy Air could go easily in a high A to a low S. I'll put, it, I'll put it in A tier. Um, this is Dartrix. Dartrix, I think, is a downgrade from Rowlet. For sure. For sure, for sure. Really? Okay, I don't know if it can go on Grottles tier, but it can go B tier. I don't think it's nearly as good as uh, Rowlet. I think Rowlet's like a near-perfect design as far as the Pokemon goes. Dartrix is kind of just... It's kind of just weird. It's just... I don't know, I don't really like it that much. I'm completely honest. I don't. Nah. It's it's not like as good as these. I don't like it enough to not put it in these tiers, but I, I just don't like it as much as these, if that makes sense. So, we're here with that. So we got Litten, it's Evolution. I, I don't know these, it, like by heart, pretty much. And Litten's Evolution is a bigger version of Litten. There's really not a whole lot different here going on, and I, this kind of has the same issue with Litten. It just reminds me of a cat outside of this like, little necklace here. I think there's not... Nah. Nah, this goes into E tier. I don't like this design, really. When I'm comparing this in my head, I'm comparing it, does it really belong on the tier with these? No, I would put this here because I just don't like how it's still just... It's a bigger version of already a very animal conversion of Pokemon. I don't really like that, to be honest. So yeah, I'm putting this in E tier. I think this one starts with B. I think it's like Bryone or Briony or something like that. And... It's design definitely transitions from the Poplio into... I honestly forgot it's 
Oh, pre-marina, right? Yeah. So Pompilio goes in a pre-marina. And I think it's like kind of a cool transition from the kind of like the clown seal into the actual like full blown like evolution of the clown seal. I don't Nah, I think his evolution's actually pretty cool. I think I'm at the It's on like kind of the same playing field as this, but could I put it on the same no I couldn't. I think it's cool though. I just haven't seen this in a while and my brain thinks it's like really cool. But I just couldn't put it on the same tier as like these. Okay, so now we got I think it's Thwacky, if I'm not mistaken. The evolution of Grookey. Um this is lame. E tier. Um, we have the evolution of Score Bunny. It has like the mask, which is pretty cool. It makes it look like kind of like a thug a little bit. But it's really going for the more tracksuit type vibe, which is what, you know, this this Pokemon's line is supposed to be, right? It's supposed to be like a very uh, high octane, very sporty, like bunny line. I think for his design is pretty cool. I don't, I don't like it though. I really don't. I, I just still just don't like it. Now, this is, it's like Drizzle. I don't know what this one's supposed to be called, but it goes Sobble and then this one. I think the fact that it's kind of like emo ish looking and then it goes on Antillion is pretty cool. I think. Nah, what, I, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go down. No, don't do that. I'm going to add a layer. And we're going to go E+. Plus. Actually, I could go down and just put an F tier, right? Sorry, this video is going on for some time now. Okay, so we got F2 here. Now, this is really how it goes. These two can probably flip-flop. I don't really care too much on that. Yeah, I think, and I'm going to put Primplup down here. I think that's about where I would put everything. Yeah, I think that's good. I really do. Um, this is pretty much my tier list on the mid-evolutions for starters to, uh, you know, the full evolution chain. And then tomorrow I should upload the, if everything goes correctly, tomorrow I should be uploading the final evolutions being like Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, and I'm going to try to make those shorter, probably about 15 minutes, because I just feel like no one's watching to the end here, they're just skipping to the end, that's about it, which is fine, and I thank you all for clicking on this if you're watching this far, and watching the video, uh, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, you know, very much appreciated, and um, yeah, this is my tier list on the middle evolutions. And things may change as the future holds, but as of now, this is what I have. So yeah, thank you guys. Everyone have a great day. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.